Welcome back to another session. I just feel like I'm ready. Like I'm ready now, but three more weeks of hard training. <laughs> I didn't think she was. Oh, keep going, baby. Everyone has known every mood I've felt today. Fire. It's crazy. Ooh. I thought that went great. Y'all took off way faster than I was expecting. On the 200s? No, on the first 100. I was kind of slow. She says, Yo, you're not going to redline at that pace. <laughs> nice she part. finishes like five yards ahead of me. Wow. Is that just sweat? Or did you yeah, pour some just, water on there? Just sweat. You're going to make them splash? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> That's gross. That's gross. I feel like I'm wearing a diaper. It literally is like the built in underwear. Welcome back to another session. Ooh, some semis. Honestly, this time is going by so fast. I realized we what? Only have like three more solid weeks of training, which is crazy. Games training really goes by so much quicker than you think. I'm excited to get the games cut. not over with, but I just feel like I'm ready. Like I'm ready now, but three more weeks of hard training. Yeah, a lot more biking, especially this year, like um, a lot more swimming. And it's been fun to do actual swim workouts versus um, just open water, just because of the style of swimming we saw last year. We do have to plan around the weather here though. I would say the worst part is the rain in the afternoon. So like if we have like yoke or sleds or anything, it's like sometimes we have to like wait, wait for it. We have to delay training, go inside because it's like pouring rain as we're like trying to do yoga or sled or whatever it is. So that, that I would say is worse than the humidity is the daily rain. I actually really love um, yoke carries this year. It was a, it's definitely, as people know, it's not a strength of mine, um, but this year being as healthy as I am, they've been really fun. So I actually have been enjoying yokes more. I heard you didn't know what a yoke was. Oh yeah, not until I went to underdogs. I've never used one. I also never did um, like clean poles or like snatch poles until I would moved to Vegas. And now like I kind of like them. Like I tolerate them. I fucking love them. I bet that would be good, but at oatmeal source you have to let it get just a little soggy and they're even better. Oh my god. I could see that being good with the chocolate milk. Stop! 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 Please let me go! Please let me go first! I'm doing something! I'm doing something! Denny's like, oh, what, come on, what's going on up there? <laughs> the guy's not raving. What the fuck? Like, oh, yeah. Did you say, did you ever see the hole? There's all of a sudden a mats there. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? It's like such a high school movement where I think some people get like scared of the movement. I'm like scared to be up there. I'm like, oh my god. I think it's because you know what can go wrong. They're fun. I like like them because I'm good at them. But it's scarier than pole vault, that's for sure. Wait, it's scarier than pole vault? I think so. Yeah. What's your highest pole vault? Like 14. What? What is that? That's got to be like... It's like 12. Yeah. The other one, your whole body is 14 feet upside down, too. upside down, flinging. I have a pole. <laughs> the, I have a peg. I mean, yeah. I'm so tired up there. You know? <laughs> I haven't had a gymnastics workout like that in a while. Three, <laughs> like two, only gymnastics. One. 
like not having to worry about like breathing hard or anything. He, he threw me a bone today. Snack check. Ooh, raspberry lemonade. And then, okay, beads. Strawberry yogis. They're actually so good. Costco. Ooh, that sounds good. I ripped like four packs earlier. Oh, man. That was hard. I almost. I was really close to getting it right. Would you have been fine with singles if Jason Hopper didn't do singles and beat you? I wouldn't be okay with anything, honestly. He can't beat me. It's kind of trash. Yeah. So I have my wisdom tooth back there, and all of a sudden there's a hole. There's been a hole there for like at least a month. I mean, two, three months. There's a hole back there. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine. Um, but now every time that I chew on it, excruciating pain in my jaw. So they said it sounds like a cracked tooth. But I don't know. Maybe it's like, I'm worried if you're my wisdom tooth cracked and then it just fell into the abyss of this hole. I really know nothing about teeth. Safety first. We are on some, I don't even know, outside of Naples, Naples country. <laughs> We're gonna do like a, a bike loop, a run loop, and then a bike loop. One hell of a warm up. Are you vibing around? Wait, why? Just water. <laughs> I'm, I'm vibing. Oh, are you yeah. vibing? Cool. Yeah. We're all vibing. I was just like, that was a long warm up. Not a, I mean a warm up, cause we were chilling, but like, I was just like, damn, I gotta do this loop two more times. <laughs> part where it's like really okay, sandy. It. I'm yeah, like worried I'm about yeah. skidding out <laughs> so much more. That, like, let me just get off and run this like way faster than I will ever bike it. Alan, you're sweating already. You feel this air out here? It's just breathing water. Oh. That was really good. Yeah, it was. Damn, that was a lot of cracks. Oh, I'm impressed. What's up? If my chain falls off, I'm running. I'm running really my bike cool. loop. Yeah. It won't fall off. You'll be fine. Oh, you just oh, jinxed like it. Bro. Mike reposted me. Ooh. Oh, keep going, baby. He knew I needed that. All right. Okay, boo. I'll keep going. Like relieved. It was one of those, the last bar. Like I barely do this, so I can count on one hand how many times I've done this. Um, it's kind of like one of those pressure moments that you put on yourself in training, and you like act like you're at the gates. Like I'm like, okay, like if I make this lift, like this is like one of those clutch moments at the games that like is a clutch moment, and like. It's almost like I'm like simulating it in training and kind of like trying to put my pressure on myself. You know, if I make this, it means, it means I'm podium. Like I'm gonna podium at the games. Like you know, one of those like ultimatums. Um, I feel like I did that on that one. Just like give you a little extra like fire. You know, when you're like kind of tired. I wouldn't do it all the time, but I, I do that. And I think this was a good moment to do that. Like caffeine doesn't like it brings me to normal. It doesn't bring me past. You know what I mean? Like if I'm here, like caffeine brings me there. It's time. We're I it is going downhill, huh? <laughs> I just don't even want to warm up for this one. By the time you get to the games, but it really it is so short. It's so short. Especially I feel like if you approach training right. Um, it's not that long. Like, it's long if you make it, if you start going hard at, during the open. It's like the last push is like the toughest because you're just like, not hanging on, but it's it feels much more aggressive for like, you know, a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's where maybe it can feel really long, but it's like not that long, you know? Like there's not a ton of opportunities 
um, yeah. with like games training. Is that your friend? Is this your friend? <laughs> I've been really annoying today. I've been like, who's that really annoying girl, Angelica? I really have been like her in um, Rugrats. <laughs> like just a little fucking annoying. Like everyone has known every mood I've felt today and they haven't been good moods. <laughs> Kind of like in a good mood, <laughs> and now everyone's going down. Yeah. Finally, when everyone's like, like now I'm in a good mood, and everyone's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like now, yes. You're running out the back door, Bro. and there's a fence in between you and the cops behind you. What are you gonna do? Let's see it. Okay. Let's see it. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. I need to shit. She's like, I, I wasn't Bro. in this party. I swear. Oh, okay. I am really proud of you guys of getting through these days. Right? This is part of the reason why we don't compete against each other all the time. This is stressful when you're going up against your competitors. And how do you handle it if they're also your friends or they're also people that you trust? Right? I get that. Like when you guys get out of here, get out of work. Get work out of your head. I, I get you guys love this. This is job. This is work. This isn't your fucking life. Okay? When you walk out, be a normal human. And then on Monday, we get to come back and go back to work. Okay? Cool. Um, yes. Great job today, guys. Seriously. You learned a lot. This is like a good look inside the game. Corinne, how much do I have to Venmo you? <laughs>